Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in this video we're going to be talking about, well, actually bad news. It turns out that radiation may have some serious effect on people, especially people wanting to live on Mars. Anyway, let's talk about this and welcome to what the Mac. So I'm pretty sure many of us would love to at least visit Mars one day, maybe even live here permanently. NASA is obviously exploring all of these possibilities, but there is obviously a very important challenge to human beings living on Mars. Mars has a lot more permanent radiation basically coming from every direction, not from the sun, from so-called cosmic rays that uh, strike Mars from every direction in outer space. Now, cosmic rays on Earth are usually blocked by the atmosphere, but cosmic rays on Mars are not, because the atmosphere is much thinner there. And as you can imagine, it's much worse on the Moon, where there's no atmosphere whatsoever. So what would happen to human body if we were to expose humans to these conditions, basically to constant, relatively high radiation? Well, it turns out that um, we don't really know just yet, mostly because a lot of these studies were done on mice, including this one I'm talking about today. But we have at least one study um, from the so-called NASA's twin study, where we discovered that there are a lot of different changes that human body will undergo, and some of these changes might even become permanent. But today we're going to be talking about mostly the cognition or the basically mental function when it comes to radiation. Because the study that you see on the screen right now and that you can find in the description below only dealt with what happens to the behavior and specifically learning and memory when you expose someone to conditions similar to deep space, Mars or the moon. Well, for this study, the scientists picked 40 mice and placed them into radioactive conditions, specifically constant radiation very similar to uh, what you'd experience on Mars. And just for the sakes of the study, uh, the actual radiation was roughly around 1 uh, millisievere per day, which is sort of equivalent to being right here on the flatlands of Mars, and maybe even slightly higher than that. So in other words, they created the radiation conditions very similar to those on the surface of Mars, but much lower than what you'd experience on the Moon. And uh, then they took other 40 mice and placed them in exactly similar conditions, but no radiation. That's the control group. And they had these mice in these conditions for roughly around 6 months, and then took them out and gave them a bunch of tests. Well, what do you think they discovered? Well, turns out... There is a lot of change in these mice after about six months in radioactive conditions. It turns out that pretty much most of them turned into really scared creatures with really poor memory, very poor abilities to perform cognitive tasks, and um, in a sense it was conditions very similar to what you would call PTSD. A lot of these mice experienced what's known as social avoidance, they didn't really want to go anywhere, they didn't want to do anything, they were also afraid of light, um, they were kind of having trouble forgetting the fear, this is known as fear extinction, and most importantly they had difficulty recognizing same um, places or even some of their, I guess you can call them friends or mice that used to live with them. So there was a huge problem with memory and um, cognitive abilities such as performing tasks. Whereas mice that were in control group didn't really change. They had exactly the same conditions, no radiation, but they were totally fine. And having done thorough tests and also thorough examination of the brains of these mice, they discovered that many of these um, effects became permanent. In other words, their brains lost what's known as plasticity, ability to change, and a lot of these mice that experienced the radiation basically stayed um, scared, they became extremely anxious for the rest of their lives, and even after these mice were given uh, time to live a normal life, uh, they basically didn't change at all. And even though this is mice and not humans, a lot of these effects were also observed in the NASA's twin study when it comes to cognition, specifically uh, Scott Kelly who was living in space. After he came back, um, he was a little bit slower, cognitively not as fast as he used to be, and uh, there were certain cognitive effects that were somewhat similar to the mice in this study. In other words, the study uh, using mice found parallels with the study from NASA. 
which unfortunately may imply that all of these effects they discovered might apply to all of the humans that were going to be sending to Mars, the Moon, and everywhere else in the solar system. The scientists behind the study also mentioned that at least 1 in 5 of these mice were definitely affected thoroughly, and this implies that um, if we are sending astronauts to Mars, at least 1 in 5 of them might experience very similar, very, very dramatic effects that will make this astronaut unable to perform their tasks. They will be always very anxious, they will be always extremely scared of everything, they will not even remember how to do their own job very well. So that means that we first of all need to be able to bring extra astronauts or redundant astronauts that are able to perform the same task, but also those astronauts that are affected by this and are overcome by anxiety, by extreme stress that um, is similar to what mice experienced, they will need to be able to come back home, otherwise they'll be permanently damaged. They'll have this permanent PTSD effect that is caused by radiation, and that is extremely scary and very unfortunate. And although this particular study didn't really deal with the effects of the sun, like for example the solar flares that might suddenly increase radiation by like thousands of times for several minutes or several hours even, uh, they did study the effects of constant radiation, and that's something we never really considered, because for the most part, our current knowledge of um, the effects of radiation on human body come from things like the Chernobyl disaster that I'm sure you're all familiar with, or um, the more recent Fukushima disaster. Now, these effects are definitely known to us, we know that it can have a tremendous effect uh, on human body, but these are not what's known as chronic radiation effects. These are acute radiation effects from basically a sudden increase in uh, radioactive activity. And unless we decide to bring a nuclear reactor to Mars and it suddenly explodes, we're not going to be dealing with these. We're going to be dealing with something more permanent, but also something that's not as dramatic as uh, Chernobyl. Basically, by standing right here uh, on the surface of Mars, you're going to be experiencing uh, something uh, that's approximately 100 times more radioactive than being on the surface of Earth, but it's going to be permanent and it's going to be constant. And this is where this study is really important in discovering that it basically might change your brain. And they even sort of explain how it might happen. The effects that they suggest are happening here have something to do with the way that these cells propagate signals inside the brain. So-called ion channels that are responsible for generating signals inside the brain might be affected by the radiation itself, either through the effects of the actual ionizing radiation itself striking these um, channels, or possibly by introducing these so-called reactive oxygen molecules that are then um, somehow affecting these channels and are causing them to act differently. In other words, the molecular structure of the brain itself is changed by being exposed to this constant radiation. And that's something that we didn't really expect to find, but because the discovery is so profound, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of follow-up studies, possibly using some other animals that are not mice, that are slightly closer to us, such as, for example, our genetic neighbors, the chimps, that might give us a little bit more clue on what's happening here and also help us understand if this is something that we'll not be able to overcome and if this is something that we need to be really worried about. Because imagine for a second that you have to spend six months on the way to Mars and suddenly some of your co-workers are no longer functioning in the same way, they are experiencing what's known as PTSD, and they are just unable to function. And you can't just turn back your ship, you have to land on Mars. So these are really important findings and um, potentially might create a huge problem for humans when it comes to space exploration. But anyway. Until we know more, that's really all I wanted to mention in this video. Hopefully now we know a little bit more about what happens to human body when it's exposed to radiation constantly for a long time. And in some of the future videos we'll explore this a little bit more and discover what the NASA has found. For now, that's it. Subscribe if you still haven't, share this with someone who enjoys learning about space and sciences in general, and come back tomorrow to learn something you may have not known before. Also, check out the study I mentioned in the description below. And maybe even support this channel on Patreon, because it does help me quite a lot. I'll see you tomorrow, space out, and as always, bye-bye.